In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to launch the Microsoft Excel integrated development environment where I can start writing code using the programming language called Visual Basic for Applications. I'm launching Excel first, and to get into the IDE, I hold down the Alt key and press function key F11. And you can see that takes me into the VBA IDE. If I press Alt F11 again, it takes me back to Excel. This is what we call a toggle key. I can use it to switch between the two views. So this is the IDE. Across the top, I have a menu and I have some toolbars. And there's various toolbars which I can switch on and off. And I'll show you some of the more useful ones later. On the left hand side here, I have the Project Explorer. And in here, I can see Book 1. That's actually the Excel workbook. Ultimately, that is the container for my code. Down here, I've got something called the Properties window. And I'll say more about this one later. But let's begin by writing some code. The first thing I need is a module. I'm going to right click somewhere in the Project Explorer and simply select Insert Module. And here's a canvas where I can start writing code. You can see in the Project Explorer I've got Module 1 there. If I want to I can rename that using the Properties window. My first code. You can see I've changed the name of the module. What's important is a module name mustn't contain spaces, which is why I've used this mixed case here, so I can read it clearly. OK, let's begin with a simple procedure, or otherwise known as a sub-procedure. I'm going to call it test. A bit of an unimaginative name, but it is a test. So I type subtest, press enter a couple of times, and you can see it's put end sub in for me. You'll notice as well that it's highlighting certain words in blue. Other words are in black. We can change that later. We'll have a single line of code. Very simple program to begin with. I'm going to display a message box on the screen. So I've just typed MSG box hello. Press enter. We notice it recapitalizes keywords as well. This is one of the reasons it's called Visual Basic for Applications, because I'm getting some visual feedback. Notice as well the text of my message is wrapped inside double quotes. To run my program, I can use this little green button on the toolbar at the top. It says Run Sub. And this will run the sub procedure. Alternatively, I can get the same effect by pressing Function Key F5. So let's give it a go. There we go. My simple program is running. When I dismiss the message box, the program has come to an end and I'm back into the VBA IDE. Let's make a few changes to the development environment to make it a little bit easier to use. I'm going to go into Tools, Options, and the first thing I want to do is change some of the colour coding. So on the Editor Format tab, what I'd like to do is change the colour of my keyword text. At the moment, it's dark blue, which I don't think stands out very well against the black. So I'm going to change that to this magenta colour here. And I think that'll look a little bit better. If I click OK, you can see it just stands out a little bit better. Another change I'd like to make is with the font size. So I'll go back into Options again, Editor Format. I'm just going to bring the font size up a little bit, maybe to 16. There's all kinds of other things you can change here as well, but I think that's the minimum that I like to do. Click OK. I can read the code a little bit better. I'd like to be able to work on my program again tomorrow, so now I'm going to save everything. The container for my code is a module, but the module is actually inside a workbook, so what I need to do is save the Excel workbook. I'm going to toggle back to Microsoft Excel using Alt F11, and simply do File, Save As, Ah, but there's something I must do at this stage, and that's change the Save As type. So if I drop down this list here, I need to save it as a macro-enabled workbook. Select that type, give the workbook a name, My First Programs, Save, and tomorrow 
I can open up the workbook, press Alt F11 and carry on working on my program. So to conclude, that was an introduction to the Microsoft Excel Visual Basic for Applications Integrated Development Environment or the VBA IDE for short.